Thank you. Okay, so I just got out of Starbucks. Um, one pump of classic syrup, soy milk, and a bagel for dinner. I'm selling my Mitsubishi, which makes me sad, but I'm test driving a new car today. I'm hopefully getting a new car. Um, this obviously isn't a usual Friday night thing about selling cars and all that stuff, but I always go to Starbucks on my sort of Friday nights whether it's a Wednesday or a Thursday in reality when I have the day off the next day I always just like to get something small for myself and something happy and for me that is my frappuccino so, yeah. my beautiful baby you will be missed my dad's just taking the license plate off I will miss you you are an amazing car. You're my amazing baby. Just driving a new one tonight. So it's about, I think it's 11. Um, I have watched TV for a little bit. I'm gonna go in my room, watch some YouTube um, and start editing this video. But you guys are lucky because in like 30 seconds you're gonna start to see what my Saturday morning looks like so that'll be fun have fun hey guys so I just woke up um, on my first day off usually I'm so sleep deprived from the week I usually pretty much hibernate like a fucking bear um, so I slept for 13 hours great I know it's not a healthy way to live at all, but that's what I do. I slept for 13 hours, and I'm going to make a beautiful breakfast. I always take my time getting out of bed. I always um, just, like, take my time with everything. Like, my Saturday morning, which today is Friday, but I don't work today, um... I always really love just taking my time, taking things slowly, because the entire rest of the week I'm just going crazy and, you know, like I'm going nuts over stupid shit and that's just so sad, you know what I mean? Like, it's the only time of the week I really get to sit down and just like observe and I really just do be in the moment instead of running around like a crazy person and I apologize for this like I'm not afraid to be myself on here this is my channel and th this right here okay is like I just woke up like none of that oh I just woke up and I still look flawless no I look like a fucking mess and that's okay like I just woke up so I'm gonna and I one of the things I really like to do when um my Saturday morning happens is I always like to take my time, like an hour, to cook this beautiful, elaborate breakfast, and I don't know why, but it's just very satisfying for me, and then I just sit in silence, drink my tea, and eat my breakfast, and I already know what I'm gonna have, and oh my gosh, yes boy! So, I'm gonna cut to that, see you guys in a bit. All right, so my pans are preheating right now. You're probably like, why are there little mason jar lid things? Fun fact, if you spray all of these with um, non-stick cooking spray, you can actually crack an egg into here and it'll make a perfect sphere. And it's really good when you're making like breakfast sandwiches, so it's not like dangling out the sides, especially if you eat in the car. So there's a fun hack for you. So if you guys haven't guessed already, I'm making eggs. I always get uh, free range or cage free eggs. No exceptions. Like, I was vegetarian and vegan before. I know what shit can happen. And also, these eggs are certified humane. And if you're more interested in about learning about that, you can just use Google. It's really awesome. They have lots of strict specifications to make sure that chickens aren't hurt or anything like that. And they actually live how they should be. So, I love Nellie's. They're great. 
Um, I have a potato, an onion, and mushrooms. I'm going to be making some homemade home fries. I actually have some local bacon over there. I don't eat pork except for this bacon. This bacon comes from a local butcher. He does everything by himself and he's very humane with the way that he kills his pigs. And that is the only bacon I'll ever eat. And the only pork I'll ever eat and I have it once a week. So I have a potato, onion, mushroom. I have Cooper Sharp cheese, which I don't know why I felt American cheese this week, but I'm going to listen to my body on that. And then I have spinach and of course my green tea. So this is all the stuff I'm going to be using along with some of my brother's honey that he got from his hive and my tea. And you're about to see the beautiful creation. Alright, so as you can see, the eggs are doing mighty fun. Sometimes they leak a little bit on the side, but that's way better than like <laughs> Sometimes you just crack an egg over here and it just slides all the way around the plate. You know what I'm saying? I cut up some mushrooms, not all the ones I'm gonna use, but I cut some up. I like to saute them at the same time. I'm like cooking the eggs. I find they cook perfectly that way, just for my personal preference. And then I got my bacon. I always freeze it the day I get it, um, so I cook it frozen. It just breaks apart and then they cook at different times. Some people may hate that, I don't know. I like it. Um, we're a work in progress right now, baby. All right, so the eggs are almost done, except I like to flip them sometimes, and I think I'm going to. Um, I season them with garlic salt, uh, fresh ground pepper from a pepper grinder, the mushrooms are almost done. And disclaimer, this bacon is not all for today. I usually have one to two pieces, but I freeze them and I save them for every one of my Fridays. So, just a disclaimer. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We're almost done there, guys. So then I also cut up a russet potato, as you can see, and I'm cooking it in the bacon grease. Guys, here's my breakfast. I have two fried eggs with some Cooper cheese on top of spinach. I have onions and mushrooms that have been sauteed just in the nonstick spray stuff. I have two slices of bacon and then I have the potatoes that I fried in the leftover bacon grease to not disrespect the animal. But also it's just delicious, you know. And then I just have water. I'm gonna have tea a little bit later. But yeah. And then I usually eat this when I am watching either Netflix or YouTube for a while. It took me an hour and a half to cook all this, and I'm very proud of it. So I'm going to go sit down and watch YouTube and edit a video, clean up my house a little bit, and that's going to be my Saturday morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like, you can give it a like. If you want to comment, you can comment. If you want to share, subscribe, do whatever your heart desires, comment down below if you have any recommendations or videos you would like to see in the future. Thank you! Toodles!